The Geneva Convention says all prisoners must have culture. <laughs> you women's have just had yours. <laughs> John Misto's play, Shoehorn Sonata, is one of my most favourite plays of all time. Mother always used to say that sex was like a trip to Brighton. It took you ages to get there and it wasn't worth the trouble. <laughs> Hi, Lorraine Bailey here, and I'm so happy to be doing John Misto's wonderful play, The Shoehorn Sonata, once again here at the lovely ensemble with Sandra Bates, who could ask for anything more. And I thought, If men can cry, they'll let me go. It's set 50 years after the end of the Second World War and it's these two women, one of whom is a, is a nurse and, and had gone to Singapore um, in 1942 and uh, the other woman is a girl who was living in Singapore. She was only 15 uh, at the time and, and their story of, being, of getting out of Singapore and their ship's been sunk. The whole of the ship rose up out of the water and then crashed on its side. So this is 50 years later. They, they became friends, they became really protective of each other. And this is 50 years later uh, where their story is being told on television. Because the British didn't want anyone to know how their women lived during the war. So for the sake of king and country, they burned our diaries. He's been softening us up. Can't you see that? Well, what if he has? It's still my decision. I'll be acting in it and directing it. And uh, Lorraine and I will have such a good time. So do come and see it, because I'm sure you'll love it. When it was all over, I heard her telling a minister that she'd survived the war because of the good book. <laughs> <laughs>